Hey there my scrappy friends, so I'm here today with a very small haul for you. I bought this in a Spanish shop that's called Kimidori and um, it's just a few bits and pieces that I bought of the new collections that came out. Uh, I'm trying not to spend so much money so I buy a few bits and pieces to kind of get this um, feeling that I need to buy stuff out of me. Um, so they sent us a little gift and this time it's a wooden veneer that says nice things, cosas bonitas in Spanish and it's really nice because it's quite big. Then I think they made a mistake here because I, I ordered a sheet of alphabet stickers of the new collection from Webster's Pages, My Happy Place and I got this and I think they made a mistake because I think they sent me a sealed package of about there are about six sheets here so what i did was i wrote an email to the um, to the shop and i'm kind of asking whether they have made a mistake because i don't want to um keep them if i'm not supposed to keep them i mean i know the temptations there to keep something uh for free but i'm not like that so i send them an email and i'm gonna see what they say but i think that uh when you when you buy this you basically get one sheet of stickers um, but then I got the new stickers. Well, this is not new because this came out before Creativation. It's the Good Vibes collection. A lot of people were complaining, uh, so to speak, that uh, it didn't make any sense, this collection, because it's very eclectic. It has a bit of everything. And it seems that things uh, just don't go together. You have the cassette, you have the coffee, you have a donut, you have a llama, you have a cactus, a pizza, birds. So. Yeah, I've heard a lot of comments from people saying that they did not understand this mixture. But when you think about it, you buy a, a sticker sheet like this and it's so versatile at the end of the day. If you're doing various projects like um, you're doing a project like the one that I'm doing, I am, about myself, then you have various stickers that uh, might adapt to that project. If you're doing a project about summer or about holidays, then you have, you know, the food items that you can use. If you're doing a project about spring, you have the birds. Uh, so it's very versatile, I think. And then it comes with a bit of gold foil. And I do like it. I had ordered the sticker sheet from the Oasis collection last year. I, I, I seem to have um, lost it. I have no idea where it is. I had a few stickers left, but anyway, this should do for what I'm working on right now. Then I also got the acetate piece from the Amy Tangerine collection. It's the one that I showed you in my creativation video and it is absolutely divine. Look at this. Uh, you can see it against the uh, white background better, but basically it's got these little sprinkled confetti that change color. And the light and it's just pretty 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 i don't know what i'm gonna use it for but i like to have it then i i just uh bought a few loose sheets of paper from the new web three pages collection my happy place and they have another collection called the good life i liked this one very much and again it's very eclectic it's very different you can use it for very various things this looks like valentine's day because it still says i still fall in love with you every day Enjoy the day, you have a llama, you have a three with a heart, uh, like a watercolor effect, which I think is very pretty. And then you have this watercolor painting of this girl, not too excited about this. My happy place, and at the back you get a nice print with these uh, green leaves. Then, I don't know if there's enough light in this video, maybe I should put the light on like that. Um, and then you have the flowers here and at the back you get the sunshine rainbow color sunshine the paper is called sunshine I bought it for this side because I, I like the flowers I thought I could cut out some of these flowers and then this is my favorite paper so far should have bought two of these because I think that this is very versatile you have all these two by two squares that are very easily added to um, any traveler's journal that you're working on and uh, my favorite pattern is here but it's so eclectic today I'm a mermaid tomorrow I will be a unicorn and then there was one that said be wild and wonder there was another funny one that said let's see if we find it no I can't find it yeah 
believe in yourself and unicorn why not <laughs> so I like the colors in this one and then at the back you have this kind of reddish it's it's more pink than red it looks red in the camera but it's actually pink but in this light it, it's looking red which is a pity and this paper is called happy squares another sheet from my happy place cute houses and on the back you have the trees I bought it for this side I thought it was really cute the trees are really cute with the hearts and they've been like watercolor very pretty then you have a wood grain and on the other side you have this beautiful floral pattern I don't know what I'm gonna do with this if I'm gonna try and fussy cut maybe not but I really like this blue in the background it's like a turquoise and this is called pretty played and the last one is from their other collection which is called the good life it's called the good garden and I bought it for this side not for the lemons but for the yellow I tend to have a hard time trying to find yellow sheets of paper for scrapbooking on the other side you have this pattern it's black with flowers on it and it's very pretty to say the truth um, Oh, the light is really not good today for this. I'm trying to use natural light so you can appreciate the details. But the flowers are very, very pretty. So I'll probably use half and half. I can use this on a traveler's notebook. And speaking about traveler's notebook, the next project, well, the current project that I'm working on is my Easter project. And I've taken so many pictures on our four day holiday that I've basically had to plan it out on two traveler's notebooks i'm going to use my felicity jane traveler's note for, notebook for this one and i'm i'm filming everything i'm filming the process of choosing the pictures cutting them out um deciding on the layouts and i'm filming very like in a, in a time lapse very quickly uh the process of doing the pages very happy with how it's turning out i'm i've tried to change my style in this one and simplified it because uh, it's a very long project and I don't want it to take forever So I've simplified the pages that I'm doing in this project and they'll be coming uh, on my channel very soon So watch out for that and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time with more. Bye I just realized I forgot to show you a very sweet thing that I got um, This is from the Coco Vanilla collection and they are vellum die cut pieces I had never seen anything like this but a girl was showing them on YouTube and I fell in love with them. Look at this. Look at how pretty this is. It's completely transparent. It's vellum and it's so very delicate and you get a lot of items. This feather, possibly my favorite from the whole pack. This is so very pretty. So the collection is more than words and they do this with every collection that they have. Because I was checking out previous collections and and uh, they have a lot of these vellum die cut packs which I had never looked at seriously I mean sometimes you need to see people showing this stuff on, on YouTube to to fall for it right so you get butterflies you get leaves and you get a lot of very pretty pieces and quite a lot of pieces I hope you can see it there we go and it looks like they've been drawn. Sorry for the noise in the background. My daughter's playing with the dog. <laughs> she, they're both very energetic at this point. Um, it's got 26 pieces. The collection's more than words. And it's from Coco Vanilla Studio. And there you have the pieces. And I do, do recommend you buying a product like this because it adds something different to your to your work i always like to look for uh things which are a bit more original to add to my pages and that's it that's really it for today bye